This is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com, and this is Task for the Weekend, February 20th, 2021. So this weekend I'm going to call it Squirrel Away a Copy. Microsoft indicated that 21H1 is in the final stages of production, meaning that it's just about ready to come out. I expect sometime in probably March, I'm guessing. They said it will be a minor update, not a major one. So it's not going to be the normal big download spring update that we've been used to. It's going to be a small one, a very quick one. And he talks about in this blog post how it's going to be fast. And it's got some features, including multi-camera support for Windows Hello, some security-related performance improvements, Windows Defender Application Guard, which I will get, uh, I will not go into today, but I'll go into later on, and some group policy services, some things that I know for businesses will want. For individuals, I'll go into why ultimately you want this, but not right away, as we normally say. So they've inc released to the in Windows Insider channel testing of this 2.1H1 version. And what that usually means to me personally is it's a sign to me that I want to go to the Windows 10 ISO page, which is right here, and I want to do what I call squirrel away a copy. Now I know there's scripts and things that you can use to get exactly the version you want, but I feel that it's the easiest to come right now and click on that download tool and it's going to start the download. I'm going to click on it. It's going to pop up a UAC. It's going to do what's called getting a few things ready. I then click the end user license agreement. And then rather than upgrade this PC now, I'm going to click on Create Installation Media. I'm going to say Next. And it senses what version of the computer I have. And so it's going to bring down exactly the, the copy that I have. If you wanted a different version, like a 32-bit, you'd unclick that little box right there. And you'd say if you wanted both 32 and si or 64. Hopefully everyone right now is on 64-bit version of Windows 10. Then I say next. And then I usually bring it down into an ISO file. I store it someplace on my computer. Click next. Again, I pick a spot to save it. For now, I'm just going to put in documents. It, um, I can put it also in an external location. In fact, I'll do that there. Let's put it in a, my external storage location. I click save and then it does its thing and you can see the progress and you can just let it download and usually I find the hardest part is just remembering where I've saved it so usually what I do is once I once this gets done completely I will actually go back into the Windows 10 file because it comes down as a Windows 10 ISO um, file and I will rename it and say the version that it is, so that I won't forget that it's this specific version. And again, the ISO download is very easy to find. Usually if you Google it, you'll find it. And this is also the time that I evaluate my system and make sure, do I have the latest Flash uh, BIOS update on it? Do I have proper drivers? The easiest, if you have a named brand machine, you can go to their website, let's say an HP or a Dell. If you built your own, it's a little bit harder. Sometimes you have to go to multiple locations to check on the drivers. On another computer I have, which is a home-built system that has various different drivers and, and 
motherboards and things like that, I know it has Intel in it, and Intel has an Intel driver and support assistant. So you can go ahead and download that, and you can run that on your machine. And you have to obviously agree to the end user license agreement. There we go. Being mean to me. Then you have to accept again the the well, let's decline that. That's providing some feedback and telemetry, so we'll decline that. Approve the UAC. Let it install in your system. And then it's ready to launch. So we're going to launch it. And it's letting me know that I've got some updates. Now once I've reviewed my BIOS updates, I also check to make sure that my hard drive space. So I always make sure that I look at my C drive and make sure there's plenty of room. So in this case I have 85 gigs free of 200, so I'm in pretty good shape there. So in general, when Microsoft's marketing department starts to talk about the next version, that's my sign for starting to do some processes like download the ISO, take a look at my machine, make sure the BIOS is up to date, took, take a look at various different drivers, look at the C drive, make sure everything's okay, and basically get ready for the next version. As always, have a great week. Newsletter comes out tomorrow. And look for me to give the okay to patch the following week. So we're about a week away from giving the all clear and giving you a heads up on various different issues I've been tracking. Until next time, this is Susan Bradley for AskWoody.com.